What's happening, YouTube? Cowboy here, and I have some depressing news. In the process of deleting old videos, you know, to like clean out the the old recordings I don't need, I accidentally deleted the entire Smelter Demon fight, and the whole beginning of that was also how to get through Iron Keep. So, since I don't have that anymore, I and mean, people get fucked up around here, um, I decided that before we go to uh, the new zone here. I don't even remember what it was. It was one, another one of the Luna things, Luna Soul or something. I'm going to show you what you would have done at the Iron Keep. So, obviously, we have dual swords now, and we are ultra badass. Um, basically, you'll come down here. There's one bad guy right there, one bad guy right there. They're both those ninja knights, so you can kill them pretty easily. And here, there will be one bad guy right, right here where I'm at. There will be another bad guy right here. You will kill both of them. There is another one up here that likes to hide. He's a chump. I mean, everything's a chump compared to dual braid swords. But anyway, so that's the easy part of clearing. Once you get past that, you're going to come up here. A guy right here will start coming at you. So if you're like right here, that's enough to aggro him. Run down the stairs, smash him. Another one will be back in the corner over there. And there's one up in the corner right there. That's an archer. You need to be aware of those. And then once you're out here, that's where shit gets real. So, like I said, for the sake of, uh, I guess, documentation, I'm going to show you guys everything that you could have done. Obviously, there's an archer over there. Be aware of him. Your first guy will be right here past the bridge. We would smash that guy and keep moving because these archers don't fuck around. You'd come down here near all the blood stains. Ow! Fucking archers. Actually, it's because I ain't trying to get my face smashed in by archers. Let me put on my shield for now. Um, there's another guy right here you'll want to kill. And then you will want to pull this lever. So pulling that lever will drop the bridge down. Which you need. Once the bridge is down, you can run. There'll be another baddie in the middle of the bridge. You're going to want to kill him. And then, uh, obviously, you can go over there, grab that chest, grab the ember if you haven't done that yet. There will be another dude <coughs> right here. And um, he's a little bit stronger than the other ones. He has, like, a lightning katana, so be careful about him. Try blocking. No. Boss ahead, by the way. Be wary of close-range battle. Yes, anyway, this is where the smelter demon would be. Um, what the hell? The pursuer? Why is the pursuer here? Why are you here? I came here looking for the smelter demon. Okay, well I guess we got an impromptu boss fight going down. Come on, man. I killed you already. I don't know why you're here, but you don't belong here. This is where the pursuer is. Alright guys, well it looks like, or not the pursuer, but the smelter demon. Looks like if you've killed the Smelter Demon, that the Pursuer wants to show up and duke it out. So, uh, I guess we're gonna fuck him up real fast. Bitch, I don't even need a fucking Ballista to take you out now. Oh, wow. He's actually hitting kind of hard. Bitch. You're nothing but a special mob now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on, man. I'm trying to smoke and drink a beer at the same time. Why you gotta be all up on my dick right now? <clears throat> Tell you what, he still hits pretty fucking hard. I'll give him that much. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, buddy. Whoa! No! Ouch, that hurt. Estus Flask, save me. I just need him to make like one mistake and he is fucked then. And that was not the mistake I was hoping for. Ah, what? That spin actually got me? Jesus, Pursuer, when did you get so fucking annoying? 
Oh, I mean, he's not as annoying as the Smelter Demon. But uh, let me explain the Smelter Demon fight while I fuck up this guy. Uh, in short, there's like three phases to it. He will, um... He'll start off pretty strong with melee attacks. Um, eventually, he'll light himself on fire. When he does that, um... You can't really do a lot of damage to him. It's kind of like, a, I guess, a transition. So, when he's lighting himself on fire, be cautious. Um, and then the third phase of the fight, he will take his sword and put it into his chest. And basically enchant the sword with fire. And at that point, um, even if you're blocking strikes, you will still take a ton of damage. So you need to be uh, rather cautious about that. Oh no! What is he doing? Bitch, you don't do that to me. Ooh, Ring of Blades plus one. I'll take that. But yeah, so in short, um, he's going to... His sword is going to be on fire. A lot of the fight is just block timing. So he'll have... He has a very slow swing and just dodge to the left or right as he's about to hit. And um, if you do if you do your dodges properly, you'll be fine. I'd recommend dodging instead of blocking. Another thing that helped a ton is Flash Sweat if you have it. Basically, Flash Sweat is a pyromancy that'll increase your fire resistance... It basically saved my ass when I was fighting him, because before having that, he was able to, um... I mean, just his sword being on fire, just being near him, you know, your health ticks down, so... It's pretty fucking annoying. There is a summon you can get right here. If you haven't died, you can summon, um... Mira High, or whatever the hell her name is. Anyway, as for the rest of this area, you're gonna drop on down. You're going to pull this lever. Then you're going to go over to here, go up here, you're gonna turn this bad boy, once you turn that, you're uh, pretty much golden from there, so after turning that, you'll be able to open this door, because the fire will be out in this little forge thing, you can go in here, grab an item off that corpse, climb on up, and you have to do all this to progress into the next area, and that's the, uh, the Iron Keep video you guys will see after this, but so you got this guy, another archer right there, we're not dealing with them right now, though. But anyway, you kill that guy. There's a ladder right behind him, and you can get up towards the Iron Keep. That's not the only way to go to the Iron Keep, though. You can also access it um, from the Smelter Demon. And he's kind of an optional boss, so you don't have to fight him. But um, I felt obligated to, so it's kind of shitty that the recording didn't stay, because I would have loved to show it to you guys. But anyway, like I was saying, um, the Smelter Demon does provide access to the rest of Iron Keep if you go through that way, and... Apparently he provides a second fight against the Pursuer. So anyway, you would kill the Smelter Demon. You would head up this way. Do, 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 do. Um, chest back there. And then, of course, a bonfire to rest at. That puts you at Iron Hearth Hall. So from here is where the rest of the Iron Keep really starts to take place. You guys will see that in the Iron Keep video, so I'm not going to go over it all right here. Um, from up here, there's one guy that's right here that you can kill. And then you could kill that asshole and that asshole. Watch, but this ghost gets wrecked right here. Oh, nope, he disappeared. But in short, that's what you want to do for the beginning of Iron Keep. Um, really do apologize for my recording. Fucking sucking dick. I don't know why I keep losing recordings. It's pissing me off. But uh, anyway, let's go to Belfry Soul and get on with what this episode was intended to be about. Well, not intended. I mean, this was intended to be fucking Smelter Demon, but fucking hog pog capture piece of shit application their old stuff was better <clears throat> so anyway right here is uh well i should probably show you how to get to this area yeah you guys probably want to know how to get here don't you all right let me go back to the other bonfire because this i didn't really show you anything regarding how to get here all right so we're gonna hop back to height hearth fire hall and you'll end up seeing me do this uh quite a bit in the next episode well, actually, I mean, at this point, the, you know, the boss of this area is already dead, so there's a lot of areas that are usually on fire that aren't anymore. Um, so you got this guy right here, big old, big old turtle man. Be cautious about fighting him on this bridge. Obviously, that can hurt. You got this asshole trying to uh, smash that platform, as you can see, he just did. So we're just going to get a couple hits on him with magic real fast to soften him up. 
before we jump across. Alright, now that he is dead, if you were to... which way was it? Oh yes, through this door. So, you want to open this door, put in a lockstone, smash that wall, from there you can climb on up, do our quick shimmy, and then from up here there is a chest you can grab, and of course, ta-da, and we're at another bonfire. And then from this bonfire, you can reach uh, Belfry Luna, so you'll want to uh, save a lock to do that, of course. Whoa there, little bugger. Or Belfry Soul, excuse me. And for the purpose of this area, let's duel great swords. Since my weight's already over 73, might as well go balls deep with it, right? Have a shield that I can switch to. I wonder if I switch back, am I already in dual stancing? Now I am. Alright. So I came in here yesterday and there was one of those um, fake summon guys here. Basically, there are not fake summons, but the fake invaders. Um, it was a caster type, though, and it kind of got smashed in like a single hit. So I doubt you guys will have much trouble with it. There's a ballista here. I guess you could use that to to shoot stuff. I guess you could probably just use this to just is this shoot right at the door. Oh yeah, it does. So it's just how you troll people if people are trying to assault it. Back the fuck up, little man. Don't piss me off, bro. Hmm. Need bind. I don't need to bring a binding right now. I could go to. Ring of Blades, plus one. Yes. Chloranthe, second dragon ring, covetous surface ring. All right. So let's investigate this uh, Belfry Soul area. Look at this guy. No. Bad gray invader. Should you imagine if that was a person? Like, I'm going to get this guy. Oh, my God. Smashed him so hard. Another simpleton spice. I really got to pick a spell to use up all these on. All right, so we can go that way and that way. And <clears throat> here we're more than a little bit slow, as you can see. Oh, hey. How are you guys doing over there? Cool sword you got, bro. It's like the same one as mine, except I have two. And, oh, that portal is now gray smoke, so I guess we can't go that way anymore. Dun dun dun. Alright, Belfry Soul. Let's um I guess let's go this way first. I'll pull this. Ringing bells. You might also notice I have on a new armor. Which is the dock armor, but considering my weight is already over capacity, I'll put back on Drangelic for now. Uh, I've been trying to get my weight below 70% with the two great swords, but as long as I'm using Drangelic, that won't be possible, so... I've been, um... basically looking for an alternative armor source. Cool crossbows you got there. Down you go. Sacrifice all sense of defense for the ability to utterly annihilate your enemies. Another simpleton spice. Wow, I'm finding tons of these. Uh, I think that's it for this roof. Oh, I've been invaded by somebody. Oh, where's he at? Dun 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 dun. Where's he at? Where's the invader? Thought the servers weren't working. Is that him? A rooftop fight. All right, Bendel. Oh no. Man, 
man, these things could really hurt if I could actually hit them. Bendel, you challenge me? Nope! Oh shit, Bendel. Oh shit, it seems like Bendel's just as... just as cautious as I am. No! Oh no, Bendel! Why? Oh, son of a bitch. Bendel two-handed and took my 65,000 souls. Why, Bendel? What is he doing? Why is Bendel... He's getting up, doing a pumped-up dance? <sighs> well, I don't think dual-wield greatswords is going to be very effective for PvP, just based on that exchange. Like, if I could get up on somebody, it'll smash him. But the fact of the matter is, nobody is going to be like, Hey, man, um, you know... You look like you could, uh, like you're looking for somebody to fight, so how about, how about, uh, you know, I know you want to hit people with those swords, so how about you just hang out and I'll stand still while you beat me with them. It's weird. It seems like I only get invaded when I'm above 65,000. Hmm. It's a bit odd, right? Well... Either way, yeah, we're going to be doing our invasion fights with a shield from now on. Man, those little ass clowns. Oh, wow, that just missed outright. I oh, know, hit one of you. I just need to like get up on somebody. <laughs> like as awesome as this is, it's really just I just need to come with terms of the fact that this is not going to be effective at all in a PvP scenario. Despite it looking completely badass. And huh, that's weird. He didn't didn't take my souls. Wow. Huh. Not sure if I should be concerned or thankful. Ow. Ah, come here, Nightman. Ah, bah. Glancing blows. Oh shit, I fucked that up. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah, this is going to be quite an adjustment from uh, having a shield out all the time. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with super high. Like, I mean, the damage, the damage really is, like, fucking brutal. Like, you do so much damage to people, it's disgusting. But, um, yeah, I mean, as you guys are seeing, it's really, really easy to get fucked up since you don't have a shield at all. Okay, not a mimic. Immolation, cool. Human effigy, triclops snake torches. Oh, and we're back at the Iron Keep. Oh, we're right back to our, uh, our bonfire. Huh, that's good. Well, either way, that's going to be it for this one. Um, <clears throat> like I said, unfortunately, I wasn't able to save the, uh, the fight with the smelter demon, but he's not that bad. Um, biggest tips I want to give are just, you know, use heat to help with the fire resist, because that's, that was huge. Um, if you're alive, you can have the summon, and of course, focus on dodging and not blocking, and you should go down fine. But we found Belfry Soul, so that's cool. Um, I'd imagine I might find more people here than at the other one with the gargoyles, just because... You know, there's, I'm not going to find anybody over at this one. 
But either way, thanks for watching. Stay tuned next episode when we... Well, I mean, it already happened previously. But either way, you guys will get to see in the next episode me taking on the rest of the Iron Keep, which will be awesome. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And we'll see you guys then with more Dark Souls 2.